All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate once again. It's been a minute. Listen to that beautiful music. Excuse me, what do you want, sir? Oh my god. I forgot what button was to assassinate. No, that's a leaf. All right, off we go. I do believe that is an Eevee mission, so we're gonna go see her. See what's what's up, what she's getting up to. I know, leave me alone, Prices. Off we go. Come All here, right. man. Lead on. Come on. Come with me. You two. Oh, I have a shit. Shit. Well. Right, I think it's just around this corner. Real question is who is she meeting with? Oh, it's Henry. That's right. I forgot they had a conversation about something like that. You, your heart. Change of plans. Uh, okay. Please tell me again where we are going. I found a letter from the Prince Consort among Luciton's research, marked with the same insignia as your key, dated 1847. 1847? The same year the Prince began renovations to Buckingham Palace. You think he added a vault for the Shroud? And since there is no map of the palace with the room marked Secret Vault. Your Highness, may I present Miss Evie Fry. Miss Fry, Maharaja Dulip Singh. A pleasure, Your Highness. My friend, the plans you asked for have been removed. Removed? By whom? Crawford Starrick, or someone employed by him. Yes, I thought you might recognize the name. I know where they are, but it is heavily guarded. That part will not be a problem. I thought not. We're going to need a plan. I can provide a distraction for the guards while you find a safe way inside. Oh, really? <laughs> for you, Evie? Certainly. Well, once I'm inside, I'll find someone who knows where the papers are stored. And we will be back on the train. Be careful. I don't know if that was supposed to point anything out to us. There's Henry. Use Henry to distract. How do I do that exactly? Use Henry twice. How do I use Henry? Where am I landing? Oh shit. Extra ability, so how do I use him to distract people? Oh, 
No, no, you have to, damn it. Drop the body. No clue how to use him for a distraction, but you know, I guess we just sort of do a li yeah. this a little bit of the old fashioned way. something oh I can speak to him oh that's dumb why didn't it tell me that? I can't jump jump down jump there we go what's the plan when you give the signal I'll draw the guards into a fight and then use a smoke bomb to get away okay and I'll take advantage of the confusion Ready? Absolutely. <sighs> um, oh, oh, okay. Let's see. still going. Oh god, they rang a bell. <laughs> Really fucking help now, did it? You have no business in this area. This merits further investigation. Wait, how do I, uh. This is not how finest human beings are needed. Can I just get in from the front door? Ah! below me. Can I can I use them as a distraction now? No, it doesn't appear that I can. Nothing here. Okay, is there anything upstairs? I knew there was an entry point up here. So the last area is over there. Can't really 
reach that. Come on. Nope, down. <coughs> There we go. No, looks like I have to ask someone where the plans are. Kidnap a nearby Templar. Oh my god, I should have kept him alive downstairs. Ooh. Greetings, my friend. I swear, miss. Oh, I don't know where they've taken him. Taken who? The man, dressed like you. The guards dragged him off. Henry, they... the plans you stole, where are they? I don't know anything about that. The plans. The mission. All right, let's, uh... Let's get to moving. this first if we can. Where is the bottle? Where is the bottle? Pick it up. Get out. Okay, so he clearly got away. his blade or no that's the footprint hello little one you're some of clara's children they took mr henry we couldn't stop them i bit one of them good though they dragged him off in a red carriage they won't get far though one wheel looked like it was about ready to fall off you can see the cart tracks it looks so wobbly like sounds good thank you Stop. Thank you. Oh, they knocked over, uh... Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need to take this for a minute. Knocked over bushes and trees and shit. Gotta go. They really just kind of peeled out of there. Like it was nothing. There you are. What do they push another cart off the, off track? Go like on. Because there are two sets of tracks here. That cart's been run off the road. They must be driving quickly. Yep, okay. That makes sense. Like a bat out of hell. That's it. They're knocking people over too. Or toads? No, he's on. And destruction of public property. I must be on the right track. Well, I think I know where we're going. <laughs> right here into this, uh... That must be the carriage. Found you. Now to find Henry. That's not Henry. Pull up. That's a woman. Just 
supposed to speak to these people? Okay, so I guess it doesn't entirely matter? And I know there's a, uh, like, like an optional objective, but there are just no hanging barrels anywhere. inside this building. You there, sir. Can we speak? Yeah, I saw them dragging someone out of the carriage after the wheel fell off. They said he'd hit his head. Not sure why they needed to take him to the church, but that's where they went. Someone's creeping about. A woman... I don't know anything about the carriage, but there's been some strange happenings around here today. All kinds of unsavory types wandering around, armed to the teeth. I don't like it one bit. Okay. So it's very clear they went to the church, like I thought. I'll check out where that Come was coming from. Two minutes. Come on. It's all right. You can't see Intruder! me. <laughs> There's got to be a point of entry somewhere near here. Is it on the roof or underground? Because I don't see the need to speak to all these people since they all tell me that he, they took him to the church. Oh God! See, there is the, there is the entrance right there. Uh. Who the devil is she? Oh, here we go. 
I could have sworn I'd locked this <laughs> gate. This is supposed to be locked. Bloody urchins opened it again, no doubt. Just with that other second thought. And that, that's why I kind of love some of the uh, modern times Assassin's Creed games. Because without a second thought, just pull out a gun and shot him. <laughs> for, no, for no real apparent reason other than he was going to detect me. Oh God. Get her! Well, we can't say I didn't try. And the gunshot is really what alerted them. <laughs> Put him down. Henry. Wait, sorry buddy, let me just grab this. Evie, um, they sent someone to move the architectural plans. Do you have them? Did they hurt you? I'm fine. Let's go. Okay. At least we got him and we can get out of here. What about the plans? The plans are lost. That looks like I'm gonna try to stay clear. Ah, I'm sorry. Just concentrate on escaping, please. Out we go. Well, we're in a train station now? Whoa, what the f Take a bullet the best you can do. Henry's not doing too good over there. Gunman on the rooftop. What the hell did he just throw? Me? What? Was that a flashbang? Henry, what are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck was that? Any news? Let him get too far away from me. Henry, it's time to go. Yeah. Get Miss Light and go to the vault. I must find the vault before Starek secures the shroud. We'll talk to the Maharaja again. I will talk to the Maharaja. You will get your head looked at. I'm sorry my capture hasn't done your plans. 
You'd be safer on the train. Even if you find the vault, you can't just walk into Buckingham Palace alone. I won't be alone. I'll see you back at the train, Mr. Green. Okay. We got left the restricted area. Now, where is our next mission? From here, uh, we could do this Dickens memory. Ooh, get a cane sword from it. Yeah, screw it. Why not? I do need to stock up and move, sir. Stock up on ammo. And knives and probably bombs as well. Just, just refill it all. I have everything to your satisfaction. Faster if I just went straight, Come right? Come on! Get him! Move it! Come on! Faster! We're always meeting him in pubs. Stuck on. How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. What do you got for me, Charlie? Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 15, Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the specter of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She okay. could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. All right, well, let's take care of it. But first, uh, hello, gentlemen. Along, oh, he wants us to get in the carriage. Waits. Another legend claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman Come who on. purportedly threw yeah. herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Go. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew, Edward, was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Doesn't opium make you hallucinate? I don't know, I've never done it, but... <laughs> Does, doesn't it make you hallucinate at, at some level of usage? So go. maybe he was just seeing things. The disappearances Whoa. are suspicious. Though. That's it. Shall we? <laughs> though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Okay. Is, is someone here playing piano? Or is it one of those, because I know those exist in the late 1800s, automatic pianos that just sort of played themselves. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes uh, and yep. valves. Okay. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. 
a young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. Right, I saw this glowing. A sudden draft. Nothing more. Oh shit, what the fuck? My word. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps I should wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter. Which is not at all unsettling. <laughs> Come here, kid. Oh, now you're screaming. You pieces of shit. Come here. Tan your hide, child. Oh my god, why are you so fast? Now tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to you? Out with it. All right, all right. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. Thank you. Sup, sir? I shall be enter. Oh my god. Who gives you the right to barge in here like this? Get the fuck out of here before I'm caught with the coppers! Where is... Where's that treasure chest? Oh, directly above me. There we go. All right, Charlie. I found a lock, but I haven't located it's here. So this is how it uh, works. Impressive. <laughs> what else is gonna open? You get out of my house! Stand back, Charles. There was no one whose love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My Poor Ned. Forgive. I did it! Okay. Anything else? Other than him secretly living in this house for God knows how long? All right, Mr. Dickens, mystery solved. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square, just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. 
I wonder if I've got one left in me. Oh, I'm sure you do. You got plenty. All right, cane swords. Uh, there's another Dickens memory. Jacob's mission is all the way down there. I could have swore there were two Eevee missions. Yeah, there was. Alright, so. Where are you? This way. So, I wonder what this one is. Or are we just meeting Henry again? Oh! Oh my god, okay. This is a br street brawl? What's that other line? What has happened? Your brother. What's he done this time? <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder, and if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labor. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, it'd certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to Okay, well firstly we have to find the plates. Oh, we're following. Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit. We have work to with those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Avalon. If this gets out. Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots. Mr. Aberline. <coughs> Locate the counterfeit. Oh, well, there's somebody. I have the utmost faith in you, Miss Wright. We're done here. You two, follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the cart. The counterfeiters. Heard about the rioting at the bank? They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back <coughs> those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Did you hear those crowds? <coughs> Sounds like all of London is rioting. <coughs> Nothing to do with us. <coughs> I mean, partially I to do with you. Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. Where to now, sir? Back home, if you please. Oh my God. I'm gonna definitely need to find the cart or something. Which I wish I could summon one, but... Oh, wait a minute, I can just hide in the cart once I catch up. 
fortunes be at ease. I am not responsible for Tupini's death. I merely took advantage of a fortuitous oh, shit. Shit. Oh, damn it. Oh my god, I'm actually inside. Okay. Oh, here's hoping we can try this again. You two, follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the cart. The counterfeiters. Heard about the rioting at the bank. They're gonna go out there. They can door. riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Oh, shit. Well, I unfortunately can't kill him now. Is he gonna get in the kit? I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. Over there again. If Scotland Yard comes nosing around, I was at that bank on business, and you know nothing else about it. They're planning alibis as they as they drive home. Can't can't get too close. Come on. I wish getting into the carriage was an option, but it's not, unfortunately. Burn the counterfeit money. Keep this place Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, sir. How dare you disrespect me? Hey, come back here if you want to argue, Barney. Okay. Let's go down. Hold up. Not. No one's here, actually. Might as well just set the whole house on fire. Where are 
what else is there? The plates are downstairs. Now to sneak these back into the bank. All right, let's get out of here. Drop down. Take this. Getting shit done on the regular, really. Well, on the move, no less. Oh, God. Okay. Let civilians into the bank. I read the papers. This will be the ruin of us. You. So he's the only guard that was there, and they're just all gonna pour in. There's a killer on the loose. I'm so not I'm leaving quick. until I've got answers. <laughs> I want answers. Oh. Ah, damn it. As if they were never taken. Is there a way out in here? No. Let's take this. Might as well. Go. All right, now I'm back to Mr. Aberline. Maybe we can calm down his anxieties a little bit. London papers are running the story if that was all a hoax. No more riots. Faith in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. All right. Oh, and I got a new firearm. 
Let's uh, uh I always do that. I hate that. Let's check out the firearm uh, inventory. Oh, okay, just a regular revolver. Is this the one I have equipped? Okay. Well, when we return, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are going to see what Jacob is getting up to in this sequence, and hopefully not having him destroy the entire economy. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow, and I will see you all in a moment.